But she spit it up. What she? What exactly do you gotta do? Like, what, like I you're not saying nothing. I can't have sex. What? That's what she's saying. She's saying that typically what you do after you finish doing your glucose test, you typically wait what to the, ensure. That because don't they make have, sense. I ain't, never, I ain't never heard of that. It's freezing today. It's freezing today. And it this is week so this week was so nice and now it's freezing. But hey, what's going on RV family? Wow, it's your boy Rayon. If this is your first time watching our video, guys. And it's your girl Brittany and baby Jeffrey. And baby Jeffrey. You can't forget about baby yes. Jeffrey. Guys, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see a lot of people been saying you guys named baby Jeffrey. Guys, I have oh. <laughs> two first names. Rayon and Jeffrey. His last name is Jeffrey. So my last name is Jeffrey. The baby name is not Jeffrey. Jeffrey. But if you like, please send us some names because yeah. we need some recommendations. For all real. right. So guys, please send us some names. Boys, Boy, girls, girls, whatever y'all y'all have, just send us all the names. We like unisex names. Yes, and we like, I would unique, like unique names. names. That's it. Let me say that together. Yeah, I don't want unique my child to walk around here with the same name as Like way. Rayon. I, I need some, I need a name something like Rayon, like unique, but it still gotta sound good though, but I ain't gonna lie. First, I never used to like my name, but yes, it is. Guys, fun fact I've heard of other people naming Rayon, but I've actually never, ever, ever in my life met someone face to face with the same name Rayon. Come on, bro. So, in your head, you think that you, you're the only person. No, so, I'm in not your head, saying you I'm, think I, that your name is unique. Yes. I've met like six Britneys in my life. You've never met one. You've never met a Britney Simone, though. No, no, no. Your name is not Brittany Hyphen Simone. They yes, messed it, it up. They messed it up. Yes, it is. They messed it up on the birth. So you want to call your mother right now? Yeah. They messed it up. Well, it was my parents. It was the people that. But either way, it's Brittany. Brittany is a very common name. Come on. My name Brittany Simone. Don't don't don't. But that's an add-on. It's two names. <laughs> no, don't don't. It's play. not one name, Brittany Simone. It's two names. Whatever. Man, that son is crazy. Yeah. All right. So guys, set us in your names, unique names, and unisex names. One syllable preferred. Yes. If we could. And if we pick the name you sent us, we're gonna give you a big shout out. And we might even send you a gift, a present, you or something. Know. You never know. But it gotta be a nice name where we can't say whoa. Ooh, ooh. Like whoa, we yeah. gotta use that. Yeah. You know? So. Alright guys, so today we just have like a few running around stuff to do. Um I had breakfast this morning. We had pizza last night. Guys. About one, two o'clock in the morning. We ordered pizza. We had this guy knocking on the door two in the morning. Domino's pizza. Papa John's, baby. <laughs> That's why I said Papa John's. Because Domino's, guys, I actually was trying to get Domino's um a special pan pizza. Like their pan pizza is so freaking good. But they close at one o'clock and their delivery fee is like ridiculous. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go to Papa John's. Papa John's pizza. I love Papa John's pizza. And they were open longer. I think they closed at like two o'clock. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do that and let's get it ordered. Let's get it delivered. So that's what we did. And guys, and then I got cheesy bread too. Oh, the cheesy bread was so good. It was like a whole nother pizza. Yeah. It was so good. Um, we're gonna enjoy this pregnancy together. <laughs> Yes, we are. Whoa. Guys, when I just stepped out of the car, I'm about to mess with him. He had to go drop him something. I'm about to mess with him. The doctor about to call me and say, No, kitty. <laughs> She's always so nice. Huh? She's always so nice. I know. I had to pick it up for her. She said, she, oh, she said, oh, thank you guys so much. What's that? Yeah, I mean, there's something in my pocket. Hello? Hello? I can't hear you. Hello? Hello? 
Hi. Yes, I'm good. Everything's going good. Yeah, I'm feeling, yeah, I'm feeling good. How are you? Oh. No, you didn't tell me that. You mean the last time I was there? After I took the glucose? No, you never told me that. So that's for how long? Like until my next ultrasound that I need to that I need to do it? Is that like something new or like is that something no it's just that I'm trying no it's just that I'm trying to understand because I've never no no one ever told me about that that's why okay yeah I understand it's for safety safety precautions okay so from now because I saw you last week from well I saw you on Wednesday sorry so from now until I see you for the next, yeah, I think it's like three to four weeks. Yeah, the next appointment, yeah, March. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'll see you March. So is it March? 8th or March 15th? Okay. Alright. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Amy, what happened? Why are you not saying enough of what happened? What you did? I didn't do anything. Do? She's asking me if she told me anything about, about, um, after like how I so have the results to, in the test? No, like the the test results came out um came out great. So but she's saying she's saying that if she spoke to me um about what I have to do after the glucose test and I told Sorry. her and I told her no one said anything to me. She's saying that typically after you take finish taking your glucose test and until your next ultrasound Maybe appointment. Just spit it up. What she what exactly do you gotta do? Like what like I you're not saying nothing. I can't have sex. What? That's what she's saying. She's saying that typically what you do after you finish doing your glucose test, you typically wait to ensure. That because don't make have, I ain't never, Brittany, I ain't never heard of that. That's what I'm saying. Because she's saying that to ensure that, to, because she's going to run my blood again when I come back to do my ultrasound, to ensure that everything is still the same. So basically, we can't get it on for like a month because I'm not going to her until, she said, either March 8th or March 15th. What the hell? What the fuck? That's it? So she just called you and tell you that? She said because she didn't remember if she had told me yesterday. So she said she told me today. Nah, Brittany, that don't make sense. That don't even sound right, Brittany. But that's what she said, baby. That's my doctor. She said it's just for safety precautions. Ah. That she feels as if that we shouldn't do anything. That just to be on the safe side, let's just don't do anything. So what about like, what about keep keep going so things could get more loose and she's saying keep for things right flowing? Now, like what, what, what the hell? Basically what she's saying for right now, until I go back until I go back to do my my next ultrasound and to do to see her in the doc nah, to see so the doctor that I alone, should abstain from sex right now so that we can ensure that when they draw my blood again. So what will you say? Well, we don't have to tell her. But if it could jeopardize my child or me, I'm going to obey what she's saying. That's what she's saying. It could jeopardize. That's, but what she's saying I thought she is, she's just rec she's just recommending her like it's just oh you could just not do it if you don't want to. No, or it's, like a serious it's like a serious thing. Like she's saying that 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 this is advice that she's giving me, like healthy precautions, stuff like that. That's what she's saying. So what if you would have done something yesterday or the day before that's that? That's what I'm saying. That? That's what she asked, and I said no. So then we that's her fault. Then they slacking then. That's what I'm saying to you, Brittany. This don't make sense, Brittany. Might have to switch doctors or something, Brittany. I don't. I don't like how that sounds. Because we can't have sex. And now the baby yes. is kicking. Yes. Let me kick it. What do you mean? Yes. Because what, what? What type of doctor is not gonna tell you if stuff is if she's recommending it because this is for safety purposes? How could she tell you so late? 
and I don't even think it makes sense. Like, how is the father supposed to like, like, like move on and live life and like be happy? And you worry about like you? That? What do you mean? You worry about you right now? No, I'm worried about you too. But I'm just saying, Brittany, it doesn't make sense. If that was the case, she would have told you up front. Babe, I just feel like to be on the safe side and just to observe what she's saying. That's what I'm saying. I understand that she should have told us yesterday. I don't understand that she should have told us yesterday. It's a mistake on their part. She apologized. So now that she's telling us today, we just have so to. So that's what we gotta do. Yeah. Alright, so that's it then. I was just trying to see what else what you gotta spit out because I feel like you're going around the corner. If that's what we gotta do, then that's what we gotta do then. <laughs> the safety of the baby, the safety and the health of me. I feel like we just gotta do what we gotta do. I mean, I know it's gonna be kind of boring, but that's what we gotta do for right now. I mean, we could still have fun. I gotta do stuff like that. Have fun. What do you mean? I mean, if that's what we gotta do for the baby, then we just just don't do it. I rather, I rather make sure we protect the baby. I'm just upset because she didn't tell you that up front. Oh, so you're not upset at the fact that no, we, that we no. Can't do I'm it. trying to make you spit it out because I thought you was just going around corners. You wasn't what you were saying wasn't making sense. So but now I understand what you're so saying. So you're upset at the fact that she didn't tell us from yesterday. Well, if we had did something yesterday and, and and did something that could hurt the baby. Or yes, me. exactly. That's what I'm saying. I was probably said let's we might have to switch doctors because that's that's come on that's that's life. Yeah. That's life at risk. Like what type of type of what type of doctor games is she playing here? Did we ever ask her to see her license? Her license is in her office. It's posted you, up. You saw it? Yes, it's posted up on her wall. I don't recall. I remember. I gotta take a picture. I don't remember. <laughs> it's posted up on her wall. It's all over. So you didn't take a picture of it? No. No, we're gonna have to actually see that to examine that because I don't know, I don't know what type of what type of doctor that is. I never remember talking about that. So you're not upset at the fact that we can't do nothing. You're upset at the fact that I mean I could live, maybe I I could survive. I don't care about that. I'm okay about you and the baby's safety. That's what I'm worried about. I'm just saying like it doesn't make sense. I'm not so you think you could just tell me anything and it don't make sense and I'm like, okay. It don't make sense. But I understand I understand if that's if that's what we gotta do. But I would have appreciated if she would have, you know. Told us yesterday. Yeah, like uh, way ahead, even while we was there, she could have told us. That's what yeah, I'm saying. True. True. But I mean, that's what we got to do. That's what we got to do. Man. That's it. I love you, girl. I love you too. Get up out here, man. So, baby. Oh. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> you lying. <laughs> Nikki, I'm wrong. <laughs> Man, why you play so much, man? <laughs> I really thought I wanted to see if she was gonna get upset at the fact that we couldn't do nothing, or if she was gonna get up at, at, upset at the fact that she took forever to tell us. Oh my god! And you reacted the same exact way how I thought you were gonna react. You you were more upset at the fact that she didn't tell us. Yeah, like what? Like, she could have put on, me man. and the baby in danger. You didn't care about the whole having yeah, fun. I remember none of that, but you've been together, man, man, long. But you think I'm worried about that? If we go one month, two months, <laughs> I can live. As long as you here, I'm okay. Aww. Cause then at some point it's gonna come around. <laughs> this boy is ridiculous. I and when promise. it come around, it will it will come dropping. <laughs> run. It will come in a bunch. Run, run, run! Stop it. <laughs> All right, guys. So we all reacted the exact way that I thought that he was going to react. Honestly. No, you know that's how I am, Bernie. I don't, I don't care if things that. don't make sense to Rayon, he's gonna ask like why. But I knew that he was more upset at the fact. I feel like he was thinking like I was upset. No, I wasn't upset. I was just like, why the hell was she there? Like, why we can't have sex? Like, see, like what reasons? Like, what real logic reasons she had? Like, but, I mean, I guess, I guess. Yeah. All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys oh, like, subscribe. comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you guys turn your post notifications so you know every single time I drop a banger. And make sure you guys follow us on TikTok and all of our social medias. It will be down <laughs> below. See Brittany down below, guys. <laughs> this was actually really funny. We got to turn up tonight because we don't know if we can get a real call. <laughs> Peace out, guys. <laughs>